Imagine walking down a street and some thugs come right up to you and they threaten to fight you and they tell you to get on your knees. What would you do? Would you fight them or would you cooperate? That's what happened to this kid that I met. The country where we live is like almost like London. It's like you get like bullied. I mean, not bullied, but they pick on you really fast and, it, and they and they always like carry something and I didn't have anything on me but I still want, want, wanted to do something because I knew I'm strong you know I'm strong if I hit something he will get down I know that did you really think you're you were in danger of getting hurt at one point yeah yeah but mm. I think when that kicks in your instinct like it just goes off I think but I don't know I just I, I wanted to like say no i'm not like going on my knees i'm not doing it i wanted to say that with all my heart but i knew back in my head uh, these guys can actually hurt me these guys can actually do it and they were big so it was like yeah what do i do once you got on your knees what happened they said say sorry you know just say sorry so i had to get on my knees that's how it goes and you have to say uh sorry that's it sorry for what sorry for uh disappointed doing some weird i don't know it, it's always some dumb that i don't even understand but i always know they're doing it for status they are doing it for that the worst acts of violence the most dangerous people on planet earth well they have a victim mindset they actually believe that they are wronged by society and even though you may be a complete stranger, you represent that society, maybe because of the way you look. And so they funnel all of their anger, hatred, and revenge towards you. And actually what's sick is they feel justified in their retaliation and their vengeance towards you because they believe they're doing something moral. They're righting a wrong that might have been done to them. Yeah, and you, know, you, you felt like you were weak. Yes, but I wasn't. I know I'm not, but at that point, like a demon came in my head again and he said, nope, you're not that guy. Nope, you're not it. Okay, if I was you, I would have done the same thing. I would say, okay, I'm on my knees. You the man, what do you want from me? So you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, yeah. Genuinely. Are you guys happy? All right, you have a nice day. See ya. See, that's what a strong man does. A lot of people think a strong man, the alpha male, will say, no man, you get on your knees and you push him around. See? But that's what a f does. That's yeah, what a you, that's what they would do. True, true, true. You know, why would I you know. do what they want to do? I don't mind. Here's the cool thing. It's only humiliating if I'm insecure. Uh -huh. If I'm not insecure, I'll play their game. Whenever someone faces an aggressive situation like this, the goal should always be to avoid getting into a fight, to not take the bait, to not fall into the trap. You see, people who fight other people, they have to escalate hostilities, so they try to provoke you or intimidate you. And if it works, you get triggered and you retaliate back, now their story is you attacked them. And I know some guys will look at this as weakness, but it's actually meekness. Meekness is strength under control. It means you're not easily provoked and you're not gonna fall into a trap of someone trying to hurt you. Now, what if this kid did? If he would have gotten upset, pushed him around, told them no, they would have probably sent him to the hospital or worse, he could have been killed. But somehow he had the wisdom to know that he was outnumbered, that this was a losing situation, and so he cooperated carefully. Now that comes with some level of humiliation, and this kid still suffers today, but I tried to encourage him, look, all things considered, I think you did the right thing, and you demonstrated meekness, strength under control just from one dude to another, and I know something about aggression, you did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Look, if, if someone is threatening to hurt you and you find a way not to get hurt, 
you're smart. That's true. That's true. That's true, man. Our world is becoming more increasingly violent. And that's why students need the skills to avoid getting in aggressive situations. In fact, I would say that it is more important to know how to avoid a fight than it is to win a fight. Now, a lot of parents are putting their kids in karate, self-defense classes, assertiveness training to demand how people must treat them. And I'm all for self-defense. I'm a big believer in it. However, I think self-defense is something on the preventative end. You can avoid, if you can avoid actually getting into a fight, well, then no one can fight you. That takes wisdom, it takes skill, it takes emotional resilience. The ability to not be triggered or provoked easily by someone else who's trying to draw you into a fight. Are you teaching your kid that?